Chuck Hagel has been no ordinary Secretary of Defense. He was the first enlisted combat veteran to serve in that position. President Obama announced the resignation of Secretary of Defense Chuck Hagel today. I'm here with U.S. Today with Washington Bureau Chief Susan Page to talk about what this means for the Obama administration. Susan, tell us what happened. You know, this was not expected. There weren't reports or leaks in recent weeks that this was going to happen. And yet it's not a surprise because Chuck Hagel has been a little out of step with the administration. The job has changed since he was appointed two years ago. So given what you're saying, does that mean Chuck Hagel was pushed out? I think he was pushed out. Uh, now, the White House is going to some lengths to say, it was, to say it was a mutual decision. And in the announcement in the state dining room this morning, the president went a long way to praise him for his service, to praise him for his friendship. Thanks to Chuck, our military is on a firmer footing, engaged in these missions and looking ahead to the future. And yet, just weeks ago, Chuck Hagel was indicating he planned to serve for the rest of President Obama's second term. So I think that it's fair to judge this as being him being pushed out. So what's next for the Obama administration? Well, I think they think they need someone who's going to be a stronger uh, strategic thinker and a more effective spokesman. You know, two years ago, it looked like the job of Defense Secretary was to manage the budget uh, cuts under sequestration and to handle the withdrawal of the final U.S. troops from Iraq and Afghanistan. As the president has made very clear, we're not going back into Iraq. Uh, in, in any of the same combat mission. Uh, short of that, there are some things we can continue to do and we, uh, we are doing. That's all changed. With the threat of ISIS, we're sending troops back to Iraq. We're bom bombing ISIL targets in, in Iraq and Syria. And the president just in recent weeks has announced our decided and expanded role for U.S. troops in Afghanistan next year. It's a changed world. Susan, thank you so much for your insight. Keep following the latest in this developing story as it happens. Stay with us on USAToday.com.